Might that soul be... Nay, never mind. It belongs to a woman from Londor. To provide succor for the Lord of Hollows surely would bring her much honor. In return, thou needst only do her a small kindness. Remember those who stayed by her to the end, in the shadows cast by fire. from here. The sound of my home. The painting of Arian Dan. Burning away. When the world rots, we set it afire for the sake of the next world. It's the one thing we do right. Unlike those fools on the outside. Hey everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Thank you for tuning in once again. I wanted to record some footage of a bit of dialogue stuff that I missed, and so I'll put that at the front of the video. <clears throat> but right now, we have reached the catacombs. You can see a skeleton friend over there. Um, should be able to get through... <sighs> Excuse me. The rest of the catacombs and make some progress into the uh, smoldering lake today. See, maybe even fight the uh, the demon boss down there. You can at least kill the big worm. But um, I'll try and uh, come across some story stuff I may have missed the first time, since that's the whole function of this new game plus. big boulder. I think we can stand here and be safe from it. Now the skeleton channeling this boulder is actually kind of hidden. It's not directly accessible. It's up in that balcony there. <clears throat> actually access it. Oh, um, can go up these steps here. these guys though. And a, a rat, I guess, that followed me up here. That's not good. Hey rat, mind your own business. I keep mistaking that as an opening. that spawned when the, uh, boulder exploded. Ow! Still embered up. Uh, I believe there is at least one NPC invasion down here, so I gotta remember to stay embered. Alright, you can cut it out with those arrows, please. been that way. Ah, crap. I do not have the highest engineering skill, it would seem.
Oh, are you reassembled? Do they usually do that? Ah, no backstab, come on. Check the ground for pressure plates. I think these are uh, ashes. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if I've gotten them before, though. I'll read them off just in case. Uh, here we go. Umbral Ash of the Grave Warden of the Catacombs of Carthus. The old man began as a squire, carrying his master's accoutrement. He ended his days as a grave warden and carried them still. Alright then. We need some other, another set of stairs up here behind a hidden wall. One of these guys. Got the cool sword. I don't know if we can get the backstab off. And <clears throat> that, uh, this area down here, I actually, uh, we can actually get here. It's actually a section we went to in the, uh, smoldering lake. So we'll probably get down there this episode. Oh, some skeletons. I think we need to go through this gate to trigger the uh, NPC invasion. Big ol' sword. Oh. Little follow up attack there. I don't know how that didn't backstab him. Kicked me. Here we go, not too bad. <clears throat> I got a Night Slayer's Ring. Let's read that in case I didn't read that before. Rings, where are the rings? Let's see if I remember what it looked like. Go. Enemies lose more stamina when guarding attacks. That's cool. Ring of the Savage Sorig, more commonly known as the Night Slayer. Enemies lose more stamina when guarding attacks. Long ago, Sorig engaged the guardians of an ancient city in a bloody confrontation and returned with their rings as his prize, still frozen on their disembodied fingers. Gross. <clears throat> Alright, sounds like a cool dude. I think we, yeah, we have to go across the bridge in order to get down to the smoldering lake. Well, that, that at least means we get to do this. And watch these skeletons fall. Bye bye.
descend. There we go. <clears throat> Now, the last time I went through here, I was able to trick a Mimic and a Demon into fighting each other. I wonder if I can pull that funny business again. Alright, there's the Mimic all walking up the street. Alright, it's, it's got his attention. Come on. Get him. You can go down there. Don't be shy. Yeah! I'm <laughs> getting a lot of deja vu. Except the mimic's dead. And <laughs> demons barely hurt at all. Well, alright. Say so if you want, want to get something done. Ow. No, let's not target the skeleton. Let's maybe target the big fiery demon. Targeted the skeleton just because. Yeah, you can stop doing that. Thing. Thanks. There we go. <clears throat> Did I get whatever the uh, mimic dropped? That was probably it. Cool. Not quite as exciting as the first time around, but that's done. Ooh, lots of skeletons. No, this guy's reassembling. Anybody else? Okay then. There's an item across the hallway. I feel like that's a trap of some kind. Here's our bonfire. to the smoldering lake. Maybe it's settled down? Okay. Well, in the smoldering lake, there's the boss over there. We can actually go straight to it. We just have to run around the worm. Got the crossbow shooting from that direction. Before smart, we can actually get the crossbow to kill the giant worm. go around and shut the crossbow off. There's the crossbow. There's the worm. Can we... 
way to move past... Yes, okay, here we go. An opening to move past it. Just need to find a position where we can... The worm is in between us and the crossbow. Ooh, cool lightning. There's a crossbow in the distance. <laughs> There's the bolts and fires. There we go. It's striking the worm. See the health bar there. We appear to be safe from <laughs> blast. break for this way over here. Get to the bonfire. Okie dokie. Let's see if we can get that uh, crossbow shut off. I think there's a few items to get in here. I think like a pyromancy scroll. I don't need like the Estus shard or anything. Obviously. Some of the enemies in here are a real pain in the butt. Like those guys right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try and avoid them. Ow. Fireball to stay there. Ah, crap. Gotta move. I don't appear to hit too hard. primitive creatures, rats, are able to perfectly coordinate their attacks that just constantly stagger me. Okay, yeah, this, that's the way to the crossbow, but first, we need to do this! And pick up this. And ignore that guy. Ew. No, thank you. Oh, there's a big old rat. Don't know if we need to fight them, though. Let me just go down this way. Actually, there is a hidden wall over here. We can kill the rat. That's not big deal. Ugh. Buddy, you need to get that looked at. Not a mimic, I don't think.
behind the chest. Hidden wall. Oh, these jerks. Excuse me. I think that uh, Night Slayer guy is right here as well. We can kill him a second time. I think? Maybe? Maybe I'm crazy. Nope! There he is! Except we're not invading. He's not invading us, I guess. goes. Bye-bye. Uh, there's some items in the lava I can get here, but, um, they're kind of a pain in the butt to get. I don't know if it's really worth it. Especially since there isn't a bonfire nearby. So I'm not going to bother with it. I don't think it's anything, like, story important. Got this knight over here. Let's run past him so we don't have the risk of getting knocked off. Big soul, that's good. And then up the uh, snake eater ladder. I don't know the words to the song. And then for some reason, up a second smaller ladder. So you couldn't just have a ladder that was just 15 feet higher. Actually, an opening out here. I think that's Irithil. The bridge leading out to the dungeon. I wonder if you can see this place from Irithil, if that's the case. They usually try to keep that sort of contiguousness. 
Yeah, it definitely looks like urethyl. Cool. Yeah, these jerks gave me a hard time once before. Some dead giants, and there's a e easy way down. Some platforms we can drop onto. Ow! Let's see if we can avoid these crabs. I don't want to fight them. They're a pain to fight. place I want to go is actually close by. It's right over here. So that's convenient. Here's the pit that we looked down and saw when we were in the catacombs. Oops. Hey. And here, sadly, is Henri's companion Horus. And uh, for some reason, he's not friendly. I guess he just fell down here and then went hollow. And cast a spell to destroy my frame rate. Oh, I had to swing one more time. Why didn't I swing? I had the stamina. Alright, I'll give it a few seconds to settle down, see if it does anything. Yeesh. boss to fight. And there are some NPCs we can summon to help us. Lots of dead bodies. Okay, we're still embered up. So there should be some summon signs nearby. Great Swamp Cuculus. And I think there's one other person we can summon. Slayer Sorg, nice. We just killed him, but I guess he, I guess, uh, 
Guess it's being a good sport about it. Alright, well, we're not slaying a knight, we're slaying a demon, but let's pretend it's a knight. start to fight until we get close so I can make sure everybody's inside first and uh looks like they might be having some problems here let's do a circuit of the uh <laughs> the arena give them some time to get in here maybe I have to start the fight first but that's it. There we are. Old Demon King. Looks like you've had better days, bud. Good job. Good job, friends. I don't like this bonfire. We'll rest and we'll actually, real quick, we'll travel back to the undead settlement. Because that's not the last we've seen of this great swamp cuculus fellow. This is the last we've seen them, because they're dead right here next to uh, the Pyromancer guy's cage. And they leave their armor behind. So, I assume there's some sort of story there, but uh, I'm not sure. Maybe there's something in the uh, item descriptions. I think it was a whip they left behind. <laughs> a lot of items. Uh, not sure which whip I looted. I don't think it's that one. Okay. I think it's, it says Great Swamp. So, whip modeled with venomous looking spots favored by some female pyromancers of the Great Swamp. That sounds correct. As its noxious appearance would suggest, damage from this whip poisons its victims, slowly but surely guiding them to their deaths. Alright. Not really any story stuff, but... gruesome. Uh, let's see if the armor says anything. If I remember what it looks like. Is it this? That's Cornix. Maybe it was. Tire of Cornix, Pyromancer, Great Swamp. In the Great Swamp, it was customary to adorn oneself with articles of nature, 
Cornix favored the use of raven feathers. Ravens are said to have once been firelink messengers, guiding the undead to the land of ancient gods. Alright then. It's not full. Okay, I think... That's just about all of our business in the catacombs, so we can go fight Wolnir and move on to Irithyll. Bonfire down this way, yes. Okay. There's probably some other items we can pick up in the demon ruins. I don't think anything important, though. Just go back up to the catacombs. Navigate our way past this boulder once again. <laughs> I think it ran over the rats that time. Also, I probably should have gone back and leveled up, but I already left the bonfire, so whatever. Bolnir's not that hard. I don't think there are any NPCs we can summon for this fight, but I don't think it should be a problem. Let's get a quick look around. Okay. There's an item up in front of us, I'm sure it's perfectly safe, and uh, I'll just pick it up and we'll be just fine. Whoa! Attack those wrists. It's gonna swipe us. Oh wow, it's got some range on it. that. 
I guess just don't get too close to them. Let's get our souls back, because that was a lot of souls. Do you mind? This might... this might be bad. Fighting skeletons. Just see them busy. Okay. You're not so mad, are you? Okay. Ah, oh, hello. We meet again. Have you seen horrors anywhere? Uh, actually, to continue with the quest for her, we have to lie to her and say nothing. Oh yes, I see. I've searched high and low with no luck. Perhaps he's left the catacombs. Oh, horrid. Actually, since I've already killed Horus, I think... Hmm. I actually don't remember. Oh, have you abandoned me? Goodness me. To think there'd be a lake so deep in these catacombs. What a relief. I knew that Horace was alive and wouldn't stray far. Thank you. This hardly expresses my please take it. I will soon head thank you, Mayor Flame. I sure hope I didn't ruin the quest by doing that. Yes, we'll find out. Ow, oh, that's not. Oh, okay, well, that's an unceremonious way to lose all those souls. Shucks. There's the giant rat. We got his attention when we ran through this doorway last time. I think it's following us this time. Let's deal with these skeletons first. Come on. Not gonna reassemble? It's like going to the bridge is what triggers the uh, all that army of skeletons assembling. I will soon head to Bella. Thank you, Mayor Flame. Okay. So jumping down from here was bad. It's misleading. Actually, got to jump down like here-ish. 
<laughs> nice one, Miyazaki. Alright, Wolnir. Got a score to settle. Give me those bracelets. Strike him. Okay, yeah, there's that. Missed. Let's see if we can just outrun it, I don't know. Okay. Looks like that is the trick. Ah, come on! That's so lame. No time at all to close the distance. Come on. Skeletons schooling me, come on. You can cut that out right quick, thanks. Jesus. I thought this was gonna be a cakewalk. Okay, come on. You can't just keep doing this crap. Give me no openings whatsoever, I'm almost Hit the ah! Oh, hit the rests. There you go. My goodness. <laughs> He's clipping into the wall, what do I do? See one of the uh, more breathtaking vistas in this game. Mm -hmm. 
There's a little ear thill, and you can see in Orlando there, shouted in the mist, the clouds. And there's those gross spider monsters down there, waiting to come say hi. There's the Irithyll dungeon. There's a chapel in the back there where Sullivan is. And here's our bonfire. Well, I think we'll have some more interesting uh, NPC story stuff for the next episode, so it should be a little more eventful than last time. I'm glad we're out of the uh, catacombs in the smoldering lake. That's <laughs> one of the more challenging one of the more challenging parts of the game for me, but uh, I'm glad we're through it. We can get on to more interesting story stuff. Uh, but until then, I'll see you next time.